What about these women that followed that car? I thought they would know that. I thought they would know the way they talk about right. it. One of them coach, they cover the game. They got podcasts and they cover all these sports. Right. Now all of a sudden, uh, I stand. No, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, Shannon Sharp is going viral for his recent comments where he's pretty much dissing his own ESPN colleagues over Caitlin Clark. And I got to be real, man. It seems like he's letting his nuts hang. So before we get into this topic, though, we got to run the intro. I went to the locker room trying to show him love. He, he dissed me. He threw shade at me. I'm like, what the fuck I do? You ready, man? You feel me? Like, if you played the, he played half the clip. His little minions over here trashing me and shit. I'm like, oh, Look whatever. Me, I'm trying to young me, him. cruising Last down the west like, side. You, nigga, who the fuck are you? Like, who are you? The O3, Bonnie and Clyde. He's talking about you right now. The locker room. He said all the players are trash. So I came across this clip from Shannon Sharp on Nightcap, and he is actually going off on Monica McNutt about Caitlin Clark. Now, before we get into the actual audio of what he had to say, I want to show you guys this article from SportsIllustrated.com. Now, the title of the article says, Shannon Sharp calls out ESPN analysts for ice cold Caitlin Clark takes. So it says NFL legend Shannon Sharp has been an outspoken advocate for Indiana Fever rookie Caitlin Clark. He went viral for a fiery rant he had praising Clark last month on an episode of his Nightcap podcast and more recently called attention to the volume of flagrant fouls Clark has been subjected to this season. Many other media personalities, among them ESPN analysts Monica McNutt and Caroline Peck, have not been so supportive of Clark this year and sharp appeared to call them out for it in a september 2nd nightcap episode quote there's a lot of women that was on espn that had a lot to say earlier about it sharp said about clark's first WNBA season they've gone quiet now y'all quiet now now i want somebody to send that to you because you know who i'm talking about i ain't gonna call your name but you know who you are y'all had a lot to say early if you think i'm talking to you i am make no mistake about it i'm talking to you you know who you are. One of you was a former coach. This appears to be a reference to Caroline Peck, who is an ESPN analyst and a former college basketball coach who also coached the WNBA's Orlando Miracle from 1999 to 2001. Peck went viral in July for selecting Angel Reese for WNBA Rookie of the Year on the basis that she is putting up grown woman numbers, implying that Clark was not. Sharp then continued his rant saying, I'll get a little more specific. Some of you played the game. He seems to be referencing Monica McNutt here, who is another ESPN analyst who played college basketball at Georgetown University. McNutt also selected Reese for WNBA Rookie of the Year over Clark in July. Her criteria for choosing Reese over Clark was that the sky had a better record. Quote, my Rookie of the Year is going to go based on the standings because that is how I think you have the opportunity to measure impact in the sky right now or in the playoffs. So you'd have to give the nod in my mind to Angel Reese. The Fever are currently 17 and 16 and hold the sixth spot in the WNBA standings. The Sky have lost six consecutive games and are 11 and 21. Sharp went on saying, I want y'all to have that same energy when y'all was talking. Don't get mad now. Perhaps Sharp's sharp words will incite a response from any analyst who thinks he's calling them out. So, ladies and gentlemen, now we got to play the audio from Shannon Sharp himself because I want you guys to hear his tone and yeah, man, this is what Shannon Sharp had to say on Nightcap. Ocho, 17% of the WNBA's flagrant fouls this season have been committed against Caitlin Clark. Hey, Ocho, yes, sir. 17% yeah. of the WNBA flagrant fouls have been committed mm. against Clark. The Chicago Sky were responsible for 80% of the flagrant fouls committed against Clark. But you know what, Ocho? It's the great white height. There's nothing, Shannon. You just want to support that white girl. She busted y'all ass. <laughs> hey, there are some women. I ain't going to call y'all name. Y'all had a lot to say. Y'all even tagged me. I, why y'all tagging me? Somebody say something to y'all. Y'all tag me. Who that? Who that? I ain't going to call a name. I ain't going to get into it. I, 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 I ain't petty like right. that. But, hey, ladies. When people say things to you, God, I, I don't think you should be what they say, call you all kind of names. Right, right. I don't believe nobody should be called out of the right. names. 
But I don't know why when somebody address y'all, y'all feel y'all need to tag me. They're, they're addressing y'all. Right. If they want to address me, they would address me. Y'all keep me out of this. Y'all keep me out of this. Y'all said what y'all said, but I'm just trying to figure why y'all lump me in the no, no, they talking to y'all, they talking to me. So what you did wrong? Y'all try to make me, y'all, oh, if you don't, if, if, if you like Caitlin Clark, you gotta hate Angel. And if you hate, if you love Angel, you can't say anything good about Caitlin Clark. Y'all can't tell me what the F to say. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say what I wanna say. Yeah. Now, Back to my originally scheduled program. Kayla Clark doing a thing on the boat show. Ah, yeah, she had, ah, she, had, ah, she had that cutting up, man. She had that cutting up. Listen, you notice how the season, as the season has gone on, how she gotten a little bit more comfortable? She got I a little bit they, more they, better. These women that know. What about these women that followed that car? I thought they would know that. I thought they would know the way they talk about right. it. One of them coach, they cover the game, they got podcasts and they cover all these sports. Right. Now all of a sudden, uh, I stand. No, 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 no. Ooh, she's sharp on both sides, yeah. cutting ass left and right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she playing good ball now. She playing good basketball. Good. She playing. Is that what you say? Yeah, she playing. Yeah, I she hate playing, to see she, she playing great. She playing good basketball. Yeah, listen, make all hands hands hat off to Caitlin Clark. She playing some damn good basketball. She is. She is. She, but she's a good player, Ojo. Yeah. And if, if 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 you set aside the fact mm -hmm. that, look, people giving her credit, mm -hmm. and I get it, a situation, and hey, well, what about all these old heads that did? Bro, what about all the old heads that never got the love and admiration that Michael Jordan got when he came in the right. league? That happens. Mm -hmm. As time goes on, guess what? 20 years from now, somebody's going to get credit that LeBron James didn't get. It happens. Don't be resentful of it. Right. Embrace mm -hmm. it. So, ladies and gentlemen, you guys just heard what Shannon Sharp had to say. And he's standing on business when it comes to Caitlin Clark being the rookie of the year. Basically saying, listen, this ain't no white hype. This chick can actually play. And I agree. You know, she can play. She, in my opinion, at this point, is the rookie of the year. I know, you know, Monica McNutt and, you know, other analysts earlier in the season said that you know angel reese was the rookie of the year at this point i don't think it can even be disputed who the rookie of the year is i think we just got to go ahead and give it to caitlin clark um she's 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 earned it so you know shannon sharp he's going viral for his comments i'm interested to see if you know monica or any of these other analysts are going to clap back that would make for some interesting television but yeah man i think you know all in all, man, you know, Caitlin Clark, she's doing her thing. And what she's done for WNBA has been definitely great for the sport. Brought a lot of eyeballs and attention to, you know, the fever, the WNBA as a whole. And Angel Reese as well. They've both been fantastic for the sport. I do think it is actually crazy, though, that 17% of all the flagrant, uh, you know, fouls have been committed against Caitlin Clark. I do think that is actually insane. But, I mean, come on, man. We got to be realistic here. Caitlin Clark is going to have a lot of haters, man. You know, I mean, you got chicks been playing in the WNBA for years and you got this, you know, white chick. She comes in first year and she's basically making history. So there's going to be some element of jealousy there. That's to be expected. I, I saw Skylar Diggins, a, you know, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, bump Caitlin Clark. Um, you know, these chicks are petty, man. You know, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to be honest, though. I, I love it. I think it's, you know, it's entertaining. It's, it's good television and. You know, like I said, it's brought a lot of new eyeballs to the sport. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this topic, man, in the comment section down below. Was Shannon Sharp justified by blasting his ESPN colleagues over their disrespect earlier in the season of Caitlin Clark? Y'all let me know, man. Be sure to drop a like on the video. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. This was another installment of The Locker Room. Peace.